Now we are going to explain the example sum uh, 6.19. We ask to verify the result A cross B vector, then B cross C vector, and C cross A vector equal to A vector, B vector, C vector, the whole square. So you want to verify the result. So they give A cross B, B cross C, C cross A equal to A, B, C, the whole square. In, uh, before that, just uh, remembering that if we have A vector, B vector, C vector, that we can expand the form of A vector or B vector cross C vector. Otherwise, you can expand like that A vector cross B vector or C vector. So here, uh, instead of A, here A cross B. So A term, so B term, the C term, like that we have remaining. So the same box product, you can uh, vector. Uh, Scalar product, uh, vector product, you can write like that, a vector dot b cross c, otherwise a cross b dot c vector. So you can write any one formal. So now the same thing going apply. So I'm taking it like this, a vector plus b vector, now b vector plus c vector, c vector plus a vector. Now take A cross B. So A vector cross the B vector dot C vector. C cross A vector. Just compare and learn A, B, C. Then you can write A dot B cross C. Otherwise A cross B dot C. I write the second formal. I write the second formal. So first term with the cross product, the second term does with the third term. So okay. Now here follow the small one more rule. So we have consider as a entire term as a first term. So a cross b consider as a first term. The consider as what a second term as a third term. For example, same thing we have a a vector cross b vector cross c vector. So, <coughs> vector triple product. How to expand the same term? If you give a number 1, 2, 3, if you expand the term like that, 1, 3, 2, minus uh, 1, 2, 3, like that, you can remind it. So, 1, 3, 2 is what we come first term, down with the second term, then B vectors. Then minus, what will happen, uh, first term, down with the second term, means to C vector. That is the format of expanding the scalar triple product. Some same thing going to apply here. Okay? When you are applying A cross B vector, so apply like that. So it takes a first term, second term, third term. Here we have only the single term A vector. Here we have the A cross B. Now apply the same rule here. First you go and write 1, 3, 2. So what is the 1? It is A vector cross B vector dot the third term c vector ok now again is the b vector now minus first term and second term first term what is the a vector plus b vector is first term with dot product of second term b vector into c vector then again at last side the third term dot c vector plus a vector ok now I only explain the box product A vector, B vector, C vector can write A cross B dot C. So we can write from here, same thing, you can come back again on the box product. So instead of A cross B dot C vector, we can write as a A vector, B vector and C vector, B vector, minus again it become a A vector, B vector, B vector into C vector. Now write the last third term, third product of C vector plus A vector. So if you want to write uh, without the second term, we can directly come to the third term also, it's fine. The same rule following 1, 2, 3. Same rule following what here? 1, 2, 1, 3, 2. Here following 1, 2, 3. So what is the one? First term, A cross B is there. Then write the third term, C vector. Then the second term, B vector. Minus. So the box words you can able to write only the three terms. So fourth term you can write out of the box. Like that also you can remain in 
uh, without the second step we come to what uh, third step also spine then minus first term a cross b second term so third term is out of the box c with that so without this step we can write the third step also spine following the rule 1 3 2 minus 1 2 3 ok now in box product any two vectors are repeated the value become a 0 so a vector, b vector, c vector, the render value become a 0 into c vector dot c vector plus a vector. Now it became a vector, b vector, c vector into b vector. So render value become a 0. Then we have third value dot c vector plus a vector. Now we multiply the third term. So a vector, b vector, c vector. We multiply b vector dot c vector plus a vector. So now that b dot c a you can write as a box product. So a vector b vector c vector. Now it become a b c a. Now listen, in box product if we have a circle like that. So a vector b vector c vector. You can write a b c equal to b c a that is equal to c a b so all three is equal only so instead of b c a we can write a b c so already we have a vector b vector c vector then instead of b c a we can write a vector b vector c vector when you multiply it become a whole square so a vector B vector, C vector, the whole square. So you able to get LHS equal to RHS. Just remaining, just following the order. Start from A, A, B, C. Start from B, B, C, A. Start from C, C, A, B. So all three combinations will be what? Equal only. So instead of B, C, A, you can write A, B, C. So the multiple become a whole square. Simple thing, just you know how the, the box part is written with the multiple of uh, dot and the cross product. So first term plus second term dot third term. Here applying it as a first term. So writing the first term. So writing the following the numbers like that. 1, 3, 2. Here following what? 1, 2, 3. So first term like the second term. Uh, third term into second term minus first term, second term, then write the third term. Then box product, any two vectors are repeated, the entire value becomes 0.